We highlighted a lined seahorse last month, so here's a long snout seahorse. These are the ones we see most often, which isn't to say they're everywhere. That said, we have seen them at six different sites across South, Central, and Northern Bonaire. Check with your local dive shop or schedule a guided dive to maximize your chances to see these magnificent creatures. As usual, we had a number of first-time captures last month, and we'll start things off with crown cones. This one is just a shell with a hermit crab in it, but we did find one with the actual snail inside. If you look closely, you can see its little red head sticking out. Photobombing trumpet fish for scale. We've seen these orange lines before, but just officially found out they are golden zoanthid. They grow on several different kinds of sponges, including green finger sponges, although this particular clip was not shot last month. We saw at least a dozen of these margintail congers in the shallows on several night dives. The second was around a full moon, and there were lots of creatures in the water column attracted to my lights. So, when we got close, the congers came out to enjoy some snacks. This small redfish stood out in sharp contrast to the green finger sponge, so it was easy to spot. Turns out it was a black edge triple fin. You can see how it gets the triple fin name right here. The last two first time captures are these two juvenile or post larval fish, which were swimming in the water column above the reef. We have no idea what they are, but if you have any suggestions, Feel free to leave a note in the comment section below. We have quite a collection of behavioral videos this month. This one started out as a nice shot of a music flute, but it quickly escalated into something completely unexpected. Pay attention to the conch shell on the left. Music volutes do prey on gastropods, so as soon as it got close, the conch started jumping to get away. Here's a little tidbit from Wikipedia. In species of conchs, the operculum is elongated and sickle-shaped, and is used to dig into the sand to enable the conch to perform a leaping type of locomotion. Who knew they could move so fast? Swimming back from the reef one day, we noticed a West Indian fighting conch in the sandy shallows. Leslie and I took turns shooting it and moved on. But then we saw another, and then another, and then a whole group. Some were partially buried in the sand, while others were crawling around. The event appeared to be related to mating activity around the full moon, and the highlight for us was this clip, which shows a long strand of eggs. We don't talk about the shallows all the time for nothing. On another dive, Leslie called me over when she saw these two barjacks going through a mating ritual circling and then rising into the water column. Since we're on the subject of barjacks, we've seen them partner with a number of different sea creatures, waiting to swoop in when something gets flushed out or scared by their partner. We've even seen them do that with other divers. This month, we added a flounder to the list. By the way, the long separated pectoral fins indicate this is a maculated flounder instead of the more common peacock flounder. This one falls into the bad video but proof we saw it category. Unfortunately, the camera wanted to focus on the surrounding coral heads, but down in between them was a red reef hermit crab that appeared to be looking for a new shell. This is the first time we've ever seen the white part of the body, and part of that is used to anchor the crab into its shell. We mentioned the sandy shallows a lot, and while all that sand looks pretty from above, imagine if it got into your home. This yellowhead jawfish wasn't having any of it, and spent some time clearing it out. But it wasn't the only creature cleaning house. This sand snapping shrimp cleaned an even bigger space that serves as protection for it as well as the two orange spotted gobies that were watching out for predators. 
we will transition from behavior videos into uncommon animal videos with a little bit of both. This scaly-tailed mantis also benefited from the same buffet following my lights that the congers did. Normally, it would have hidden when it saw us coming, but the allure of an easy meal outweighed the concern of paparazzi nearby. Last month, we showed a juvenile file clam, but it was closed and kind of hidden. This month, we found an adult rough file clam on full display. Just gorgeous. This is another throwback to last month, which we actually forgot to include, but it was too good to skip entirely. We saw these two circular objects and thought they were shells of some kind. Do you know what they are? Because we didn't. They are actually tarpon scales. Notice the lines on one half? They match the streamlining on these scales exactly. So, we know this isn't the greatest footage, but it's still a pretty cool convoy of needlefish just cruising up the reef. Trumpet fish aren't exactly uncommon, but do you know they can change color? We saw all three flavors on one dive, chocolate, lemon, and blueberry. Most of the online sources say they change colors for camouflage, but to be honest, the yellow and blue versions just seem to stand out more. White spotted filefish also change color. Here you can see it in action. Notice this one displays spots when eating and turns them off when swimming. Continuing with color, this black durgan had one of the most vibrant faces we've ever captured. Usually, the white fin lines are the only detail we get. One last color shot. This Spanish hogfish was unique because it was almost completely blue. Typically, they have a lot more yellow. Okay, we lied. There is one more color clip and it is great news. The water is getting cooler and we're definitely seeing an improvement with the coral bleaching. Color is coming back to the reef, baby. Finally, YouTube videos are like algae on the reef, insofar as there are a lot of both. We're grateful you stopped by to munch on ours. If you're interested in seeing more, consider subscribing to the Tropic Lens channel. We would like that very much. Thanks! Smiley face.